important, so that makes the term stealing the victory even worse. Christian's crying face. Oh my god. Whenever Edge hits the spear, it leads him to 11 world title victories and a great Hall of Fame career. Whenever Christian hits the spear, it leads him to tapping out in his last chance at winning the world title. Post match interview. They need a hero, an idol. This entire speech building up the obvious person to be the hero and idol, Alberto Del Rio himself. No thanks. Previously on SummerSlam Access. Maria Menounos. Skip the SummerSlam. And skip again. Although I love Doritos, just not the hot kind. I don't know if I have Doritos. Rebella doing everything in her power to make sure she softly knees Natalia in the gut, thus giving no effect whatsoever. <laughs> the moment fans start chanting for the commentators is the moment you know this yeah, match is born and has no oh business Oh my god, Divas, at least this is towards the end. This is towards the end of the Honestly, Diva era. Honestly, if they didn't bring tables into the mix, this match would actually be worth watching. I'm impressed with Dee here. Who the hell is Dee Bella? Were the Bella Twins triplets or something? And there's a mysterious third sister named D. Previously again on SummerSlam. Also, getting catering backstage in a recap segment is sadly the only way Yoshi Tatsu will be able to get screen top on pay-per-views these days, which is a really? damn shame. Really? Yoshi right Tatsu deserves to be a main event or, or anything. First an impromptu match, and now this hyped-up match between CM Punk and Brock Lesnar was given a no-disqualification stipulation randomly. This match doesn't need to be no disqualification in order to be good, you know. I guess you're lying. For, for exactly what I am. I'm gonna be honest. I'll remove a sin for this well-done promo leading up to this match. I liked it very much, even despite the fact that this feud is mainly CM Punk versus Paul Heyman, with Brock Lesnar as a random pawn on the board. A former UFC champion! There we go with the commentators continuously listing off the accomplishments of Brock Lesnar as though we even give a shit. CM Punk almost defeated the Undertaker straight at WrestleMania. Not even close. Not at any moment did I think CM Punk was about to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Especially if you compare it to the previous four years with Shawn Michaels yeah, and Triple H. Yeah, I guess. Thanks, but I'd rather not see a close-up of CM Punk chewing gum. Yeah. Oh my god. Again, why does literally everyone run Seriously, out to Seriously, attack the, the legs. Begins? It's poor strategy attack the legs like AJ did in Survivor Series. Try going for the legs, genius. Yeah. 17,000. Shut up. Huh. I'm sorry, but that face is creepy as hell and deserving of a sin. Ugh. Lesnar's down! Lesnar's down! I had to say Lesnar's down twice in case the audience watching this didn't know that obvious fact. I don't like to make a lot of sense around here. CM Punk has Brock down, but decides to waste time with Paul Heyman and allow Brock to recover and kick his ass. Fun fact, when I first watched this live in 2013, this was the birth of the haha you fell sin even before I started creating these oh videos. Oh my god. Shit, that was brutal, Ooh. no doubt. Aw, they're hugging. What a cute oh couple. Oh my god. Come on, baby girl. Brock Lesnar saying, come on, baby girl. Even Brock's attempt at being PG makes everything all the more cringe. Yeah. No, you want me to read that bell? CM Punk clearly just said no before you asked him if he wanted you to ring the bell. Are you deaf or something? I think he's enjoying this. Well, you don't expect Brock to be remorseful, do you? Do you? You might want to shut up, Paul. You're basically alerting CM Punk and giving him a 100% chance of countering whatever Brock's going to do to him. Yeah. Fighting. He's Brock Punk. the big man. Michael, stop your cheerleading. I've already told Jerry off, not you too. Can he do it? He probably could if he wasn't posing all the time. I'm definitely going to remove another sin for the way CM Punk got out of the Kimura lock and locked in an arm bar on Brock. That was cool. It was a big difference. Mm. Are we sure it wasn't at this edition of Summer No, Summer no, Super it's City next year. Believe me, it is going to be next year. For Brock paying tribute to Eddie Guerrero with the three amigos, even if it was by accident. Brock Lesnar literally takes 25 seconds just to walk up to a steel chair. CM Punk is a dick to Brock's Lesnar's. It's all legal! Do I seriously have to create a bonus round on the many times that commentators remind us that this is a no disqualification match? Because I'm seriously considering it. Brock is yelling at Paul Heyman to let go despite the fact that it's actually CM Punk who's hanging on. Despite the fact that Paul interfered and broke up the pinfall, Brock was already kicking out of it anyway. So this match wouldn't have been over if Paul did not interfere. Rather than immediately stomping Paul's head in, CM Punk decides to take all the time in the world just for of a simple course. punch to the face. Of course. In fact, she can't continue to touch on Brock Lesnar in one match. Wasting your time, Punk. Yeah. Brock Lesnar grabbing CM Punk's ass. Two and a half minutes of mourning CM Punk's loss. Do we seriously have to do this? It's not like he lost his career or something. Oh, hi, Mark. 
Obviously, Mark Henry didn't crush this guy hard enough. <laughs> all right, who's pranking Justin Roberts? Because I can barely hear him doing the ring announcement at all. I would have honestly removed a few sins if Biggie Langston had spread the powder around but ultimately started coughing. Who gives a shit about Hulu? <laughs> Biggie might just have an obsession with Dolph's abs. I don't blame him. Hey, don't give me that look. Ta AJ Lee is watching you masturbate, face. AJ makes a tag. This means Ziggler has to... Does Dolph even have to tag in Caitlyn? Because the way I see it, the moment AJ tagged herself in, Caitlyn automatically became the legal participant. <laughs> Skip. Quite literally, might I add. Oh, that one's killed you, King. JBL making fun of Jerry Lawler's legit Oh my God, Willie. Boy, this time. And there is a uh, Caitlyn save the matchup. Jerry is actually surprised that Caitlyn would save the match for her team. Hashtag summer Twitter piss Christian Miracle. <laughs> Damn, that was an extreme. Oh my match. god. No offense, but having The Rock on the cover of a brand new WWE video game is just plain stupid, considering he's not even around anymore. Not again. Skip. Aside from finding a way to create the birth of the authority, I see no logical reason as to why Triple H is the guest referee in this WWE title match. Daniel Bryan's parody of John Cena's shirt. In other words, copyright infringement. Yeah. 17,000! Oh my like god. the 10th time Michael Cole has announced the number of fans in attendance. 10 times ain't gonna change my mind on caring about the numbers, you know. Woody Ben Hunter is envisioning himself as a 14-time world champion right now, despite being the referee in this match. Hey, has the crew at ringside actually lost John Cena's chain before? I'd actually like to know. Will he become the next one? Well, considering he ends up being in more movies in the future and leaves wrestling, yeah, that's actually a true fact. Yeah. Hunter, you already lifted the WWE oh Championship God, of the Year. Oh my God, more Why story. do it a second time aside from the fact that you miss being champion? <laughs> These two lock up, hit a few moves, and now it's back to staring. Hope that's not the reason why this match is nearly 30 minutes long. The Wrestler. That was a great movie. Anyway, shape, form, or fashion. Five sin penalty activated for the disrespectful you can't wrestle chance. Even if it was chanted for laughs, it doesn't matter. The sins are very strict here, like usual. Finger licking. Daniel Bryan just inspired Bray Wyatt to do the creepy exorcist walk. Oh damn, I'm getting rid of another sin. Daniel Bryan has quite the amazing strength to be able to remain in position with John Cena getting on top of him like that. Yeah, yeah, that sounded dirty. That's not the point. John Cena feels confident about this match. Why shouldn't he? Michael Cole would be great as cinema since two expansion. Claims he's no. on more than a hundred no. ways to <laughs> The way John is yelling no reminds me of a kid who refuses to go to the dentist. Sure, I'll go ahead and remove another sin for John. Okay, that's kind of genius. Guaranteed John could perform a 450 splash or hit a moonsault off the top rope through the announce table, and the fans would still say you still suck. Somewhere in the galaxy, Drax the Destroyer suddenly got a I don't know who Drax the Destroyer is. Brian Byan trying to wrestle John Cena to the ground? Who the hell is Brian Byan? Is he D. Bellis <laughs> or something? Oh my god. Oh, I disqualify either one of these guys. Why would you bring that up? Neither Daniel nor John are doing anything that would warrant a disqualification. Brian, go for the yes lock! Are you fucking serious, Michael? Does that look anything like the yes lock to you? The moment Daniel hooked John's legs, it was pretty obvious what he was actually going for. Also, copyright infringement. Done it! Why would John do that? He was about to get out of the yes lock and decides to put himself back in the hole rather than get out and take advantage. What an idiot. I know I like the kid. Okay, good thing you like Daniel, but really? Why does saying that to Hunter make any difference? Maybe it's because they're Damn, both John's older than Daniel. Since Literally. Daniel is a young star in the folks to break in. Between two guys, honestly, looks awkward, even if this match has been so awesome. <laughs> Jesus, seeing Daniel literally knock out John Cena to win his first WWE yeah. Championship removes 10 sins from the counter because that was out of nowhere and epic. Yeah. And if only John also turned heel, that would have been three times the awesome heel turns of the night. This could be the year of the beard! Jerry Lawler, Jason Oh my Kennedy, god, Jackson. I know it. Ah, Randy Orton has a piece of confetti stuck to his back. <laughs> Hunter's sudden heel turn was no doubt one of the best moments of recent SummerSlam years. Daniel's win and the birth of the authority was so awesome, I'm removing another 10 sins. I suppose this is history in the making. This is the first Money in the Bank cash in with a special guest referee in the mix. Hey, there's a first for everything, I guess. Okay. So that was everything wrong with SummerSlam 2013 by Christian Miracle. So, I really enjoyed this video, and I'm really sorry I haven't been reacting most of the time. I'm a bit tired, and that's the story that you said. I don't know anything about him. Like I said, I don't watch a lot of wrestling that much. But I will say, it's a very good sim video, and I guarantee you that 
I know that next week you're going to send SummerSlam 2014. And even though we still have another week until the 2018 edition, you're probably going to send another SummerSlam event or something else. Who knows? But anyway, that is my reaction to this video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.